Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm finally filming our closet organization. Since we moved in, I have not touched the space at all. As you guys can see, it's a complete disaster. I'm actually so embarrassed. We still have three boxes of shoes in here because there's just nowhere to put them. I also have all of my coats and jackets and jeans just piled in the corner on the floor. And when I was unpacking when we first moved in, I told myself, it was fine because it was in the middle of summer when we moved so I knew I wasn't going to need them but now it's almost winter and it's finally starting to get cold here in Texas and I cannot find anything warm to wear so this is a long overdue project and I'm so excited to finally get this done. Our closet looks amazing now so I can't wait to show you guys. So the first thing I did was move everything that was on the floor in our closet over to our bed and I'm just trying to sort things in like piles as I go. Okay, everything is out and you can actually see the floor now, so progress, but we still have a long ways to go. I sorted everything into piles in our room and then I started taking everything out that was hung up as well, so I had a clean slate to work with. Okay, all of my hanging clothes are all out of the closet and sorted into like piles. I'm gonna work on the drawers last, but I'm putting away my hanging clothes in a way that makes sense for the current fall and winter season. So I'm starting by hanging up my summery tops, my bathing suit cover-ups, and dresses towards the back of my closet. And then I'll start hanging up my sweaters, cardigans, and jackets towards the front so they're easier for me to access.
Okay, all of my hanging clothes are put away and organized. Now it's time to work on the clothes that need to be folded. So all of my jeans, graphic tees, pullovers, and my basic tanks and tops, I'm gonna fold and put away. Okay, before I fold everything, I'm taking everything out that's in these drawers because a lot of it I'm gonna put in our new dresser that's in our bedroom. The previous owners installed this Elfi system from Ikea and I really like it. The only thing I wish there was more of was a little bit more hanging space, but I made it work and I really love how it turned out in the end. I do own a lot of sweatshirts. That's like my weakness. A lot of them are in the laundry. I have like four loads of laundry right now. So seeing all this extra space is really reassuring because I'll be adding a lot more to these shelves and drawers once the laundry is done.
My nightgown drawer, for example, is looking a little sad, but I have about 10 of them in the wash right now, so this drawer will be filled soon. You guys know my love for those. They're the best. Okay, moving on to my bags. I used these purse organizers in our last closet that worked really well, but they don't fit on these shelves because the shelves are really thick, so they just kept falling over. But I ordered some new acrylic ones from Amazon, but these are gonna work for now. Moving on to my shoes, I was worried that all of my shoes weren't gonna fit on these shelves, but it ended up working out. I brought in a shelf that was in our bedroom that we weren't using for some extra storage space and it worked out perfectly. It turned out really pretty.
So this is the shelf that I brought in and I think it looks so pretty displaying some of my heels on here. I want to get a piece of like art or a photo framed or something to go above it. Maybe a mirror or something. I don't know. Okay, my closet is finally done. I'm gonna show you guys an overview of how everything looks now. It feels so good to have this done. So this is my side of the closet, obviously. And then Adam's side is over here. I did this off camera. His side really wasn't too bad, but he has this whole side and it fits all this stuff perfectly. So, most of his shoes are up here and some of them are under there. We have our hamper over there. This leads to our laundry room, which is really nice. So we can just like easily do laundry, throw our dirty clothes in the washer like we did at our old house. Um, but this is how it turned out. So I did get new dividers here. I mentioned um, earlier in the video that the ones I previously had this part was too thick for them so they kept like falling over but i got these acrylic ones from amazon but i need to get a few more to fill this section in and then i have my fanny packs over here uh, my bigger travel bags up here my hats and then my jeans sweatshirts and hoodies and i have some extra space over here um, if I need to for jeans and hoodies, I don't necessarily need to put the shoes there, but I just put them there just because I had space. Um, all of my coats and jackets over here and then everything else down here. So you guys saw in the video how I organized that. Uh, I'll show you guys the drawers. So I just have this making sense for the current season since it's starting to get cold here. I have all my beanies and mittens and gloves in there for easy access. These are all my leggings sports bras, graphic tees, more graphic tees, um, tank tops and like basic t-shirts, um, sweatpants, my nightgowns, and then other pajamas, and then my shoes. My boots are up there. I ordered um, inserts for my boots to make them stand up tall so they wouldn't lose their shape. Um, I've got my booties, my running shoes, sneakers, sandals, some heels down there, and then the rest of my heels over there. I have my steamer right here for easy access. I put Adam's shoe there to hold the door open. And then Adam just installed this rack behind our door right here to put all of our robes. We have like three robes in the wash right now. Um, but we love our robes and they were just like thrown in our closet. So it's nice to have a place for them. And then what else? Oh, this. I just had them installed too. So you can outfit plan. So you can hang up a bunch of different pieces of clothing on here and plan outfits. You guys know I'm big on planning outfits the night before. So I love having that right there behind the door. It's really hidden and it just like blends in with the wall. But... I am so happy with how this turned out. I have some things in my dresser too in our room, so I'll show you that really quick. Okay, don't mind the toys in the corner. I'm already prepping for Christmas, but Adam built this when we first moved in and we're missing a screw, so I need to order that. So don't mind that, but that drawer is gonna hold Adam's socks. I have my socks in here, um, underwear, lingerie, bras. Um, tights are in here, not super fun, you guys. Bathing suits, jean shorts. I put these in here because I'm not gonna reach for those until probably spring. So yeah, that's all that's in the dresser. I forgot about this area too. So this is where I have like my jewelry and my perfume and my sunglasses for easy access. These shelves right here came in handy 
to display that so that I can keep everything in my closet so when I'm getting ready it's just really easy to like outfit plan and stuff. But that is gonna be it for today's video. I am so glad that I finally got this done. It has taken me so long and it feels amazing to have this accomplished. <laughs> now I have like so much more motivation to tackle other areas in our home. Like our pantry really needs to be organized. I have not yet organized that since we moved in. And then I really need to do the playroom too. So those are two areas that I really need to get done. So let me know in the comments which video you guys want to see first. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and it gave you some inspiration and motivation to tackle a space in your home that you've been needing to organize and declutter. If I can do it, you can do it. Trust me, this is the last thing I wanted to do, but I finally got it done. So you can do it. I promise it feels so good to get it done, but please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Should I?